developer on-ramp. This is Clay McKinney. This is the introduction to CSS for developers class. We've been talking about typography and we're talking about font size. And what we've done, we set the default font size for our page to 12 points and we set the font size for an H1 to 24 points. We haven't set a font size for our H2s and yet their H2s are bigger than 12 points. Let's see. Let's right click on that and go to inspect. And it highlights the H2 that says videos and then it shows us what our styles are. Uh, it says font style is italic and it shows us, it highlights over there on the, uh, in notepad. Well, not in notepad. It's a, uh, Here's where we made it italic, right? And uh, here's where we made it Georgia and Serif. But then it has this other rule, and that's the default rule for H2. So this is what it started with. And one of the default rules is that font size was 1.5M. And that's what I want to talk about. What the heck is an M? Well, you may have heard of an M dash or an M space. And in typography, an M dash is a dash that is as long or as wide as the font uh, font size is tall. So it's a pretty long dash. And an M space is a space that's as wide as the font size is tall. So if your font is 36 points and you've got an M dash, it's 36 points wide. If you have uh, 30, if you have a 24 point font, and um, and you have a M space, then it's 24 points wide. So M's are just a, kind of a substitute for whatever font size you're using. And when you use when you use M's to actually specify the font size, what you're saying is uh, this is relative to what it would have been. Okay, so the base of an H2 is 1.5 of what it would have been. Um, so we can change that and we can say, uh, well, we're actually going to replace that default rule and we will say font size is, uh, let's see, 1.8m. So it should get a little bit bigger. Let's see, we'll save it and we'll refresh it. Okay. So now our 1.8 has uh, replaced, it's overwritten. Okay, yeah, see, font size 1.5 got marked out and now it's font size is 1.8. So it's, it's 1.8 uh, times the root size, which is 12, right? So, gosh, that math is hard. 1.5 would have been 18 points. I guess 1.8 is around 20. Um, Anyway, that's how it works. An M space or an M dash is the same width as the font size. And when you change the font size using M's, you're saying uh, it's based on whatever it was before. Um, I, I, right. So like HTML sets everything to 12 points. Everything inside of the HTML document, which includes the entire document, Everything inside the HTML document starts out as 12 points, and then for our H2s, we've made it 1.8 times the uh, 12 points. Okay, now, what if inside of this H2, we had another thing that was strong? Let's see, inside of H2, we have a strong. And that is also font size, uh, font, font size 1.8 M. Okay, so now it'll start at 12. It'll multiply it by 1.8 because it's inside of H2. Then it'll multiply that by 1.8 because it's also inside of strong. Uh, so we've got to change our, we've got to add that strong tag in here. videos are strong ok 
Okay, save that, and we've already saved that. Let's go over here and refresh it. Boom. <laughs> wow, that looks really big. Okay, so it started out at 12 points, and then we multiplied that, that by 1.8. And then we multiplied that by 1.8, which is almost 2, right? So strong is almost twice as big as the rest of this. So I hope that makes sense. When you use M, you're using a font size, you're using a measurement that's relative instead of absolute. Um, and that is extremely helpful. Actually, that's all you should ever do. In other words... I should take this 12 points out and just say I, I want the default size to be 1M. And I should take this 24 points out and say I want the H1s to be 2M. And I should get rid of this rule because it's silly. <laughs> and let's see, I'll get rid of that change that I made. I'll uh, undo that. And we'll go to File, Save All, and go over here and refresh it. See, that looks, how, that looks the way it did when we started, but it's more flexible because I haven't tried to tell it how many points to use or how many inches or centimeters or picas or millimeters, which are all things you can do in CSS. I just don't think you should. Um, M's are great because M's are relative, and it's like we the device itself kind of picks what the right size for the device is and then we just make everything relative to that you know twice as big or 1.8 times as big or you know, whatever we want to do but it's relative uh, relative uh, um, you know relative to where um, it, it was All right and there's another way to do that too which we'll show in the next video. All right, this lesson was brought to you by the letter M.